What is up everybody? Welcome to another video with Jake and Josh. Uh, Jake isn't actually here, uh, but you'll see more of him in just a little bit, don't worry. I am in Erie, Pennsylvania. I had a halftime show today. But what was more exciting than doing the halftime show is getting to visit Juggling Warehouse headquarters. You guys have seen me talk about Juggling Warehouse. It is my juggling store, and we are here in the warehouse. We've got a really exciting announcement at the end of this video, so make sure you watch till the end, but let's take a look around. First up, well, the, one of the most important sections of the store is the Josh Horton brand stuff. So we've got the Josh Horton juggling balls that are now back in stock. A lot of you guys have purchased these. Thank you so much for buying those. We've got, oh man, what kind of trick shooter am I? We've got the Josh Horton drawstring bags. These are bags that are perfect for holding clubs or non-drilling stuff, whatever you want. And then the Josh Horton t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing. And then if we go this way, we've got the club section. So many clubs here. What's that? You want to see a juggling trick? Okay. And we've got cigar boxes. I'm a very novice cigar box juggler. Let's flash back to a video with our friend Eric Bates. Gosh. To our right, we have all the yo-yos. To my left, all the kendamas. I uh, recently been doing a little bit. Oh no! I've recently been doing a little bit of kendama. I'm still not very good. Can I stick it? Oh no! And uh, down here, arguably the most sold juggling ball on the internet right now, which is the Zekio Galaxy Ball. They come in a ton of different colors. My favorite right now is the Cosmos Ball. It's got a crazy design on it. Really cool, nice and soft. And these balls are really good and very affordable. So if you're looking for your first set of juggling balls, I'd recommend the Galaxy. There's also marbles, all sorts of other random toys here. Foot bags, hacky sacks, these are really popular. And then Frisbees, a lot of you guys out there do Frisbee trick shots. We've got a lot of Brody Smith fans out there. We have a whole bunch of different kinds of Frisbees. I think that these are the best club for the price. Uh, if you're just starting out, these are really good looking club and they come in sets of three or you can buy them individually and they come in two kinds of designs, the classic European style or the circus style. I juggle Henry's Delphins, those are my favorite kind of clubs, but these are really good if you're just starting out or if you're a professional and you want your first set of like decorated clubs. But one thing we're talking about with the team here is launching a Josh Horton brand clubs, a brand new club. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a Josh Horton club. All the t-shirts and as you can see bags and a whole bunch of other stuff. Look at all this. My life be like Good morning everybody out there. I hope you're excited for a, a mini Jake vlog. Or not like the mini the mini describes the, the vlog. It does not describe the Jake. Today I'm back home. I went home for Easter, and since I'm here, uh, some cool things are happening. Uh, at noon today, I am guest lecturing at my old university. Oh, and then before that, at 10 a.m., I'm guest lecturing at my old high school. Oh, and before that, right now, I am guest lecturing for my old middle school. Uh, they're having a whole assembly uh, because I'm in town, which is a little nerve-wracking, but exciting that they think that much of me. I'd love to tell you more, but I can't feel my lips. I'm gonna drive now. Good. That's a good plan. I don't know if you just caught that, but I was saying bye to my grandpa and he said, we're gonna go up to McDonald's to get something to eat. <laughs> good call, grandpa. Dom's, baby. Gosh, this is freaking cold. <laughs> oh! So everybody, join me as I take you along this weird day where I am somehow speaking at three different places about three very different topics. This is not something I do often, so it was kind of a lot to prepare three different pieces of content. The middle school assembly is the one I think I'm most looking forward to, but it is a little, not like, I'm not nervous, but it's like, oh wow, they called an assembly just because I was in town. Like, that's kind of like a big deal. I kind of like feel the weight of it, but it's gonna be good, I'm gonna rock it. Go, oh, I'm just too cold. <laughs> I know what I need. I just need the right music to get me pumped up. That's 
it's better. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Mini vlog. Yeah. I'd like to introduce somebody who's uh, pretty special to our school. If you would have said that he would be doing this now, I know he doesn't think that. Uh, none of us would have, but we're so <laughs> proud of him. One hour later. <laughs> Talk is done. How do we feel like it went, boys? It was great. Yeah, it was awesome. pretty good. What did What did you learn? Um, say yes to life. Say yes. To life. Yes. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like just go get it. Go get Don't hold it. back. <laughs> good. It went well then. Just finished up the high school multimedia class. Girls, did we learn anything? Yes. Of course. Uh, what is so much? Tell me specifically, please. Equipment matters, guys. Yes. That's all you learned? I don't. I no. Don't know. Drones get shut down by air traffic control sometimes. There it is. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Uh, wow. Mini vlogging has been difficult, but the middle school assembly went super well. High school classroom didn't get any footage of that either, but it went really well. It was a good reminder. I basically just answered questions for 45 minutes straight of these kids who just wanted to make better video. So it was cool. It was a good reminder of like. Hey Jake, you know some things. You have some uh, pieces of information to provide the youth of America. Also, do you like the um, balloons back here from that 100K video a long time ago? Yeah, balloons are 10 bucks a piece, so I'm not throwing those away unless I absolutely have to. Still haven't eaten anything today, uh, but got a Done and a Milky Way. It's so, gotta be a good breakfast. I honestly, I can't even vlog anymore. I gotta get on the road. I gotta drive 45 minutes now to my university to guest lecture in that marketing class. Uh, I'm gonna be honest have not prepared as much for that as I would have liked, and this is definitely the biggest deal to be speaking at, but. Hey, I got 45 minutes in the car. Let's brainstorm now. Just any of the, the staff parking spots really is mine. I learned in college that if you don't register your car with campus security, they can't give you a ticket because they don't know who it belongs to. So, oh, got another teacher here probably, just like me. You also on staff faculty? What's up, man? <laughs> Enough about being a crazy college kid. About to go in and just give them the free and lecture their lives. Just got done, didn't get any footage of it because it felt awkward too. But Andrew's in the class. Andrew, what'd you learn? Uh, nothing. Crap. Guys, I'm disappointed. The title and thumbnail of this video was supposed to be Jake competes in a middle school track meet. It was gonna be incredible. One of my best friends uh, lives in the city that I'm in today. He's a track coach and we planned this out uh, several days in advance that I was gonna be in town and he signed me up uh, for the high jump. That's the event he's running. Uh, I told him, I was like, you know, since my nickname is the Lettuce Guy, I was like, can you say that I'm from Lettuce High? They announced, all right, Jake Triplett, Lettuce High. And then it was gonna be this big surprise and yeah, it's not gonna happen. It just, it's, it's disgusting outside. They canceled the track meet. Could have been incredible. Just know that I wanted to do that for y'all. It's not gonna happen though. Weird day. Sorry the, the Jake mini vlog was weird. All right, back to you. So people are always a little surprised or they're a little confused of how all of this, the juggling warehouse, uh, is just for me. And if you come this way, you'll kind of learn that there's, there's more than just me. So Juggling Warehouse has partnered with Yo-Yo Sam. Yo-Yo Sam handles my inventory, the distribution. I don't have all this stuff in my house. A lot of people have been asking me to, you know, can you just send me this stuff? Or if I, if I order a set of juggling clubs, will you sign it for me? That's not how it works. All this stuff is here in Erie, Pennsylvania, and they make it very easy for me. Juggling Warehouse wouldn't happen without Yo-Yo Sam. Yo-Yo Sam even has a physical location, a store you can come in here in Erie, Pennsylvania. So if you're ever in Erie or you're living nearby, you gotta come check out the store. You guys see our boomerang video? If you want a boomerang, make sure you check out jugglingwarehouse.com because we've got a bunch of boomerangs on the website now. So hopefully you enjoyed that, found it interesting. I'm not, this is not supposed to be some big commercial for the juggling warehouse. This is just something that's been really important to me and it's exciting that I'm able to come and visit because I'm rarely here. Um, and I'm wanting to tell my story a little bit how I, I came uh, to be part of the juggling warehouse. And a big part of that is this man who's been holding the camera for me, Mitch. Hey Mitch. <laughs> so Mitch, Mitch and I met when I was in college, right? Yep. And I don't actually remember how that happened. How did we first meet? So uh, Yo-Yo Sam at that point was working out of a garage in Delaware. And I you think you were going to college outside of Philadelphia. Right. And I ran an ad in Craigslist because I wanted to make some juggling tutorials. And <laughs> I'm not a very good juggler. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you answered the Craigslist. <laughs> that, ad, that sounds like something I would do. And we made the very, the, our very first juggling tutorial videos together. Um, the first of many. And you, and you gave me like some 
my payment was in like Diablos and, and juggling stuff. Yeah. Cool. Mitch is also an artist. This is all his work on the walls and then uh, this is all you too, right? Yeah. Over here. Very creative guy. He's helping me work on, you know, we're designing a new club maybe, new juggling balls. He has a lot of uh, creative input on everything, which is really cool. So thank you, Mitch, for everything you've done. <laughs> I appreciate it. And then, guys, there's one last part of this video I want to talk about. But first, hi, how are you? Um, I flew to Kansas City like last weekend and at 8 a.m. made a video with some of my friends just for fun, just for my Instagram. A dog really frightened me. But uh, it turned out so, uh, how should I say, beautiful uh, that Josh and I just felt like, you know what, our YouTube audience needs to see this as well. So enjoy. exciting. I am going to be launching a team of sponsored jugglers. When I was younger, the idea of being sponsored by a juggling company was the coolest thing. And it never really truly happened for me. I didn't get the, the, the ideal sponsorship I wanted. And so I want to make that a dream come true for some of you out there. Here's how it's going to work. You need to submit a video via Instagram using hashtag juggling warehouse and tagging me at juggling Josh. You have until the end of June to send in your video. Your video, which obviously has to be max of 60 seconds, your creativity, your juggling skill, and your overall social media presence, which includes your, how many followers you have, but also um, how what, what type of videos you post, how often you post, uh, those will all come into consideration for whether or not you will be sponsored. There are going to be three levels of sponsorship. Bronze, silver, and gold. A few lucky people will achieve the gold level status, which means free juggling props for the entire year. Those who get the silver sponsorship, they'll get a custom discount code for the entire store, and they will also get a juggling support kit. A kit that will be some clubs, some rings, some balls that should last them a while. And then the bronze level sponsorship, they'll get some juggling balls and a discount code. Um, but the discount codes get more and more for every level. And you can share those codes with your friends. And if you use those codes a lot, you can move up in the sponsorship levels to get to that gold level where you are a legit pro sponsored juggler. So send in your videos, use hashtag Juggling Warehouse and tag me at Juggling Josh. Good luck, everybody. Well, thanks for coming along with me to Erie. Hope you guys found this interesting. Here's a look at our Instagram shoutouts for today. Follow Jake and I on Instagram for your chance to win a shoutout. We've got new videos every Monday, every Wednesday, every Saturday, so make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on if you haven't already. And check out Juggling Warehouse. I'm, I'm proud to own this store, and there's big things coming soon. So whether you juggle or not, there's something for you. We've got new videos coming soon. Let's go to the beach. The silver, why can't I say silver? The silver letter, wow! Those who get the silver, <laughs> civil sponsor, civil, 